Welcome to Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional women. As the current time of 9.44 a.m. on the Eastern Time on September 10th on Saturday. Hope you guys have a good weekend so far. Ethereum got $1,719, just flat at the moment, not up or down at all so far. And on the overall market, on a futures perspective, uh, based on obviously the way Friday ended, uh, it was relatively a good note, right? We ended on uh, a higher level, but right now we are just uh, kind of consolidating at the respective non-substantive consolidated level. And for Ethereum specifically, that's 1700 and I want to apologize. Uh, there's like some guy like drilling walls next to me right now. Again, seems like it's like an alarm clock every Saturday morning or Sunday morning. Despite some people are trying to sleep in. And I, you know, I live in a suburb. I don't live in a major city. So what excuse does this guy have, right? <laughs> he's he's quite annoying. <laughs> and, but anyways, with respect to the O4 market, I'm just like cracking myself up. Sorry. Um, yeah. He's going at it right now. <laughs> and on the VIX front, we are also uh, seeing a, a depreciation down 3.5% so far. Um, the overall indexes are up right now, up 2%. Uh, on a, Again, on a futures perspective, right? But I would say this is kind of stale. I would say we need to kind of see how the weekend will go uh, as the international side of the house start to pick up. Uh, we will see, right? How's the international trading market? Uh, you know, with respect to, I think it's D plus four or plus five now by Monday, which, you know, obviously I'm referring to the Queen's death. And also with respect to how the Chinese uh, COVID situation being, you know, subsided or percolating. And that could, you know, be a tr uh, catalyst onto driving the market stir as well. Um, and also with respect to the foreshadow uh, of next week, right? Obviously, next week is going to be quite colorful. Apologies again for the drilling noise. Um, the 13th and 14th are going to be quite, um, you know, interesting, right? The CPI report and the PPI report. And then subsequent to that, on the third day, well, on the fourth day, technically, um, on Thursday, on the 15th is the merge. So... There will be ideally some anticipatory pressure before that happens. And I think Monday will be a colorful one, right? Um, you know, it will be a, a signal um, or some sort of a psychological sentiment among how investors are thinking about this and also how hedge fund managers are thinking about this, right? So I think um, looking at our trade reports, uh, which will coming out on Monday, with respect to ARK Invest and how BlackRock are thinking about buying or selling ahead of the major events would be important for us to understand like how they thinking in their perspective, right? And then also looking at politicians, right? Knowing that the CPI report and the PPI report are quite interesting, right? I, I don't know if they have a, a preview before it releases at 8.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time on, Thursday, on uh, Tuesday and on Wednesday. Um, they might get the preview, right? If they get the preview, um, they might know something we don't know, and they might be trading something we don't have an we we are they get a better uh, an advantage of doing so, right? And uh, also, I want to say thank you for the all the people that have signed up on our Patreon recently. Um, I appreciate you, and thank you for reaching out. Uh, I look forward to. Uh, you know, deep diving uh, onto your business, you know, that you need my guidance on. And obviously, uh, you know, as I mentioned, I'm committing $1 million to $5 million contingent on the, you know, inv investment opportunity and the conviction level and my partnership level with the management team. You know, obviously you as the, uh, as the executive on to cultivating your startup, right? So let me know. Something interesting that I'm doing today before I do a technical is uh, I'm going to a masquerade ball. So I actually bought a mask today. Well, not today. It came today, this morning, through Amazon Prime. And I, hopefully this will fit. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, I have to wear like a tuxedo and everything. It's like one of those um, interesting Upper East Side or well, West Side, whatever side. I'm, I'm on like a like very Gossip Girl-like type of uh, party. You know, for those that follow the TV show, um, so it's like very bougie, and um, 
uh, bun up, if you may. So I, I don't even know, but I got invited. It's a it's a uh, a party that's happening. Like my sister has mentioned to me recently, like while wow, you hang out with a lot of like really really rich, um, uh, you know people uh but the things they do can be a little bit sometimes like it come off a little bit pretentious in a way um i don't know like, like wine tasting or art appreciation day um yoga retreat uh things like that i mean maybe that's just my lack of appreciation <laughs> I, I don't know but um anyways with respect to recording time of 9 50 a.m on the eastern time we are at 1720 so you could see that looking at a daily will give us a better understanding we are again still meeting with the resistance level right that we've formed way back on the 26th uh, of august and we've been kind of gliding and also for quite some time right ever since on the 18th of july and we've been gliding and the, until we got to the peak of 2000 so now we're kind of sliding off the peak so right now you can see that you know the technical exercise came true right we were forming a golden cross and excuse me at the same time with respect to these uh resistance that we're forming right now is at the 58 out of 70 so this is just the technical speaking the truth but on the weekly you could see that clearly we're still quite bearish right we need to kind of cool back down and normalize back down first before we um you know pump up and then on the monthly I'm just gonna wear my mask just to get comfortable with it. See if I can actually talk with this. So with respect to, <laughs> I'm just like out of whack today. I probably haven't had breakfast yet. And you can see that on the monthly right now, um, we are looking for some sort of a cross section upward. Uh, it's quite bullish on the monthly front. And then on the Bitcoin side of the house, uh, we are, you know, on a monthly, we crossed down for quite some time, so we are going to be crossing up eventually. So monthly looks again quite bullish. On the weekly, you could see that you know it's quite stale, right? Firstly, but you could see the separation is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so eventually, you need to kind of cross back down. Uh, at the same time, right now with 36 out of 70, so as you get closer to 39, which is 40 technically. We should sell back down from there so weekly is uh moderately bearish daily looks very bearish knowing the fact that you, you are clearly hitting a wall right now um very large sharp uh separation at the same time you could see that we're cooling off already at 54 out of 70 right now um so this twenty one thousand or twenty one thousand five hundred is not sustainable at all unfortunately all right the overall market is uh, again quite interesting. A lot of mixed factors. 13, 14 CPI report, PPI report. 15 is the merge day. 20 and 21st are the FOMC meeting. And something that's also quite worrisome is that you know recently Joe Biden has uh, decided to basically waive all the student loans, right? Which collectively is about like 300 billion dollars of student debts that he just wiped off. I think it's great. I think in, in terms of, um, you know, the, you know, um, the aspiration of what he wants to do is great, right? But um, who's going to be paying for this? We are going to be paying for this, right? By in, in reducing student debt, it means that, um, you know, they're going to be raising the interest rate even higher, Right, so there was like a CNBC um, report that came out recently, and there's an interview as well with Bill Ackman. You know, obviously Persian Square CEO, uh, the one that you know basically sold all his uh, Netflix stocks for like forty percent off um, on a loss. Obviously, um, mentioned that we might even like go even higher than one percent, or going even to possibly even one point five two percent, or even four percent. I don't know. But that's bananas if that was the case. Um, but he, he, he also mentioned that like similar to the way that I kinda think about it, is like we don't we shouldn't see a long um, a, a one shot increase, but rather a gradual ramp up to the level because they kinda have to trash water. Um, and also like you know you know, um, incremental increase. You cannot just like increase sharply because a lot of companies uh, and people in the in the country cannot catch up to the level of increase, right? So it can be worrisome. 
but the debt can only make us like worse um you know in, in a in a macro perspective because the government ultimately they're not really helping us even though they 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 you know their pr you know it seems like it is right all right sorry for rambling i'm gonna shut up now but appreciate you for joining me um and take it easy take care bye